Yo, it's Pastor Earl with your Preject Prescription for November 17th, 2009. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. We're still talking about true confidence. This is now the third installment. And we are getting back to uh, the point we were making yesterday, which is that uh, true confidence comes uh, from hearing. Hearing what God says about you rather than hearing what uh, others say about you, or even hearing what yourself, what you say about you. True confidence comes from hearing what God says, because we've already established that confidence is faith, that when we are confident, we are operating with faith, confidence. And con uh, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So uh, the only uh the only thing that produces uh, uh, faith is word. Word produces assurance and conviction. And for me to walk in confidence, uh, 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 I've got to hear a word that deposits faith in me. And uh, in order for me to walk in true confidence, not false confidence, I've got to, I've got to be hearing what God says. Now, there are many people who walk around with false confidence. They've heard what other people say about them, and so they walk around with a sense of confidence, but it's not true confidence. They've been uh, told that they are something that they actually aren't, and they believe that because faith comes by hearing. But uh, it is what you hear that determines the kind of faith that you have. And you can either hear the truth, John 17 and 17, your word is truth, which produces true faith or true confidence, or you can hear falsity. You can hear, you can hear falsehoods. You can hear lies, which produce false confidence. And walking around with false confidence leads us into the place that James talks about. It's called self-deception. We can be deceived and not even realize that we're deceived when we walk with false confidence. So you see a lot of people uh, in the world today who uh, appear to be confident, but it's a false kind of confidence that's not going to lead them to their destiny. It won't cause the, it, it. It may cause them to produce in this world, but not produce what God put them on the planet to produce. And oh, how tragic it is when we get to the end of our life and have produced so much and it turns into being just wood, hay, and stubble that gets burned up and is tossed out in, uh, with the dross. It's, it's meaningless at the end. Only what we do with true confidence, we do uh, in service of our destiny, our purpose on the planet, that's going to serve Christ. You know the whole song, only what we do for Christ will last. Only what we do under the anointing, motivated by the anointing, do because of what we've been put on the planet to do, uh, is going to last with God. That's going to be uh, 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 silver, uh, gold, and precious metals and jewels. And so um, we want to we, we wanna, uh, access true confidence, not false confidence, and to get that, we got to hear what God says about it. Now, here's another kind of confidence that we see uh, people walking or, around with. Uh, it's a it's a form of false confidence. It's called self confidence. That is where I tell myself, <laughs> I tell myself what I'm going to do, who I am, and I believe it, and so I can achieve what I believe. But if I'm only telling myself what I think I am, only telling myself what I want to be, I'll have confidence in myself. But that is not what God calls me to. Um, God calls me to confidence in Him, not confidence in myself. And so uh, that's our uh, third point here. Let me get my studio up. And point number three about true confidence is that uh, true confidence uh, is in God, not self. True confidence uh, 
is in God, not self. First of all, confidence is faith, and it comes from hearing. And true confidence, number two, comes from hearing what God says. Number three, true confidence is in God and not in myself. Let me show you a couple of scriptures uh, so that you'll uh, get clarity on this. Uh, Proverbs uh, 3 and 26. Proverbs 3 and 26. And uh, look what this says. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 26 says, the, uh, For the Lord shall be your confidence and shall keep your foot from being taken. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the ultimate good, the sunum bunum, if you will, is uh, for us to have the Lord being our confidence, our, our trust, so that uh, he can hold us, so that uh, he'll keep my foot from being taken. The Lord shall be your confidence. That's God's design. That's God's plan for your life. Go over to uh, Proverbs chapter 14 now and verse 26. Uh, let me put it up there. Proverbs 14 and 26. And uh, look at this. It says, In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. When I respect God, when I'm looking at uh, what God says about me, then I get strong confidence. Listen, if you've been hearing all your life that you're nothing, you'll develop confidence in your nothingness. If you've been hearing all your life that you're something other than what God says, you'll develop confidence in that. If you're telling yourself, as a substitute, as a reaction to what you've been hearing in your family of origin, you know, as a parental reject, and you're, you're as a result, rejecting what you've been hearing for a long time. Uh, and, and so you're, you're, you're filling yourself with what you say about you, what you want to be. You'll develop self-confidence, but you'll still fall short of what you were put on the planet to do and be. And so uh, let's develop confidence in God and that godly confidence uh, in the fear of the Lord and the respect of the Lord will be a strong confidence because true confidence is strong confidence it gives us strength it empowers us and we'll always have a place of refuge you want to be truly empowered develop confidence in God and his word Okay, uh, we're going to uh, look at two more uh, aspects of true confidence, and we'll pick that up tomorrow. Father, thank you for this revelation. Help us begin to walk it out in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I'd like you to do three things for me. I'd like you to send this to somebody you know who needs it. I'd like you to log on to prejects.com where you can find this and other prescriptions like it to heal your sister and fill you up and overflow you into other people's lives. And then. If you're on Prejects.com already, I'd like you to click on the link below. It'll take you to our YouTube page. If you're not on our YouTube page, then I'd like you to, uh, if you are on our YouTube page, I'd like you to subscribe and leave a channel message. And we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.